be back. The weather's up after the break. Good evening. Thanks for joining us for CTV News on August 15th, 1984. We have more evidence tonight of the Sedgelt murder. If you remember it, on June 5th, 1984, Carlisle Burke was killed in his home shortly after noon. There were two suspects, but the leeway was more to George Wilcox. He moved to Vancouver about two months ago. Police in Sedgelt received a letter in the mail from George Wilcox admitting to the death of Carlisle Burke. CTV read the letter written to police, and it read, I've done a lot of not good things in my life. I've done some terrible things in my life. I think the worst thing I ever did was not to let Carlisle be my friend. He also states, it might, have, it might have been harder if I had planned the whole thing out. I'm a pretty good planner. You might not have figured it all out. And wouldn't that have been a lot worse for you? Now, before George moved to Vancouver, police sat down with him and told him what they think happened. George admitted to the loss of his parents. He could have stopped both of them before they drove off to kill themselves. He quotes, I killed my parents. I killed them both. That's what it come down, comes down to. When we come back, more to come on the set shot winner, including an interview with one who knew George Wilcox. Welcome back. As CTV News learned, Cassandra Mitchell was friends with George Wilcox. I sat down with Cassandra earlier this afternoon to see what she said. Well, I see George in the library almost every, library almost every day. We talk about the usual weather in the garden. He was a nice old guy. I wouldn't have ever expected him to kill a guy. Did you notice anything after the days of the murder? Well, he was looking a little pale. He was acting a little weird. But wouldn't we all, after finding a friend dead on the floor? True, but we also would feel the same way if we had killed our friend. He doesn't seem like that kind of guy. He reached the sick and his garden is his life. It just doesn't make sense. He brought me flowers from his garden and gave me tips about gardening too. Sandra Mitchell has lived in Sedgelt for nine years now. She moved from Vancouver to Sedgelt to be closer with her mom. She is currently a 41-year-old librarian. Her books are her work, her comfort, and her joy. Sandra also has a brother living in Edmonton. She's the only one who is close with George who lives in Sedgelt. She talked with him in the library many times and they became friends. She is still in shock and is mourning the loss of her good friend George. Police say the murder has now been completely solved and the town is getting back to normal. That's really good to hear. It is. In other news now, 